Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, for this video, we're going to be talking all about the best sun sticks. Parang ito ata yung bagong trend ngayon sa skincare, specifically for reapplying your sunscreen during the day. Sabi kasi ng mga derms, it's still best to use yung mga liquid sunscreens during the first na pag-apply mo ng sunscreen during the day kasi mas nakukuha pa rin talaga nila yung corners na mukha natin and mas na-apply natin sila ng mabuti. But for reapplying sunscreen sa tanghali or sa hapon, that's where sunsticks can really help, especially kapag nasa labas ka. Kasi in a way, sobrang convenient din yung i-apply sa face or even sa body. And for the past few months, ang dami ko talagang tinatest ng mga sunstick brands, guys. As in, I'm figuring out kung alin yung mga the best talaga. And I'm more than ready to show you my top picks. And since marami pa tayong pag-uusapan na products, wala nang any-any, guys, let us begin. So as usual, inorganize ko yung mga best sunsticks natin into three different budget levels. Starting with our first budget level, this is for those na maraming budget. So for this budget level, meron akong top 2 favorites and top 2 na alternatives just in case maubusan kayo ng stock. Nauunahin ko yung personal favorite ko na sunstick and this one guys, actually hindi siya masyadong sikat. I honestly don't know why, pero okay lang kasi kapag bumibili ako nito, wala akong kaagaw, ba? So this sunstick is from the Korean brand Misha and this is their Sikadin Acne Rescue Water Sunstick. So if you're someone na medyo oily to combination or in general, ayaw mo lang talaga yung sobrang bigat na feeling ng sunsticks and especially Especially if pawisin ka, this is automatically my number one sunscreen reco for you kung meron kang budget. Kasi guys, sobrang press ko lang talaga ng feeling nito sa skin. Now this one is a sunscreen that is SPF 50 PA4+, meaning very high protection siya, and it's also water resistant. Meron siyang 5 na organic or chemical UV filters, which are homosalate, octinoxate, octisalate, uvinol A+, and tinosorb S, which actually give you protection from both UVA and UVB rays. And another thing I really like about this sunscreen is, nagdagdag pa siya ng additional soothing ingredients. True to its name, meron tong 42% Centella Asiatica or Sika Extract. And bonus pa for those who like niacinamide, this also has that. Now, this does have fragrance, so take note lang if very sensitive yung skin mo. Pero kung yung amoy lang naman yung worry mo, hindi naman siya gaano kabigat na scent, so it doesn't bother me personally. Now, as for the feel of the product, eto guys, personal favorite ko talaga na part. Pag swinipe mo siya, wala yung parang sobrang oily or balmy na feeling. Very lightweight siya agad. Of course, since it's a sunstick, may mafeel ka na ko product but definitely not uncomfortable sa skin. And also, this one sets onto a finish na in the middle of matte and natural. And another thing na mafeel mo rito upon swiping it is a slight cooling sensation. Hindi siya super lakas, tamang-tama lang yung nilagay nila, which surprisingly for me, medyo mas naging presko yung feeling niya sa skin in my opinion. Although I would say again, since cooling sensation nga siya, if medyo sensitive yung skin mo, careful lang. Additionally, kapag gumagamit ako ng tinted sunscreens or BB creams and then I use this to reapply, hindi na naman niya masyadong nauusog yung mga products na yun sa face ko, which is why I really really like this product as well. Now as for the price, ito actually guys, mahal siya dati, pero medyo bumaba na yung price niya ngayon. I got this at 1,000 pesos for 19 ml of product, pero actually bumaba pa to nung recent sale to just 700 to 800 plus pesos, as in naloka talaga ako nung nakita ko yun. So sulit din talaga, especially if you catch it at that price point, pero actually even sa 1,000 pesos, mas mura pa rin siya compared to other sunsticks from other Korean brands na may kita niyo na may physical stores. Kasi manonotice yung ibang mga may physical stores, 1, 3 to 1, 5 na sila. And that's why binabalik-balikan ko talaga tong kay Nisha. However, kung hindi niyo gusto yung cooling effect or ayaw nyo talaga ng any fragrance sa sunscreen niyo, you might like our next option na very mattifying naman. This is from one of our favorite Korean brands na sikat na sikat din yung regular sunscreen nila. It's Beauty of Joseon and this is their matte sunstick Mugwort Plus Camellia. So if you follow niyo ko sa Instagram, you know this is a product developed by a YouTuber who is also a cosmetic formulator based in the UK, si Glow by Ramon. And pinost ko kasi sa stories ko na sinend niya to sa akin personally nung nilaunch niya, kaya sobrang tuwang-tuwa talaga ako. And in fairness guys, achieve talaga paggaling sa skincare community. As in. So this is an SPF 50 PA4 Plus sunscreen and meron din siya ng mga advanced and mga bago na UV filters. That's Uvinol A+, Tinosorb S, Uvinol T150, and meron din siya ng Polysilicone 15. Sunscreen ingredient siya and it also helps stabilize other UV filters. So actually, sobrang high quality and stable sun protection yung makukuha mo sa product na to. Ang notice ko lang dito though is apparently, hindi ko sure ha, pero wala akong nakikita ng water resistant siya. This one naman guys is fragrance free which could be ideal sa mga merong sensitive skin. Plus, this also has a lot of other plant extracts with antioxidant and soothing properties. Aside from mugwort and camellia seed oil na nasa pangalan niya na, this also has turmeric, china berry, red algae, holy basil, moringa, and a lot of other extracts na usually ginagamit sa traditional 
traditional Eastern medicine. Now, as for the feel of this on the skin, true to its name, mattifying siya. This does not feel oily at all sa skin. And kahit first or second swipe mo, wala kang may kita talaga na shine. This also feels very comfortable sa skin kasi lightweight lang siya. If you're very oily, you will really, really like the sunscreen. Additionally, when you do reapply this over makeup, it also plays pretty well with it. Medyo possible nga lang na magmark yung makeup dito kasi medyo light yung color niya. But don't worry guys, kasi sabi ni Ramon himself na kung gusto niyo siyang linisin, pwede ka mag-spray ng alcohol and then wipe mo lang ng tissue. Hindi naman niya masisira yung formulation. Not only ko na notice ko and the notice din ng ibang mga content creators dito is mas likely siyang nagpipil sa skin or bumubuo-buo depending on the products that you use. So yung moisturizer na gamit mo is mga high-end dimethicone or mga high-end silicone. So, for example, yung kay Eye White. Or if you're using yung the ordinary na azelaic acid, pwede tong magpil pag ginamit mo yun. And for those na hindi alam yung meaning ng magpipil, parang meaning bumubuo-buo siya. Pero ako personally, mas watery gel or gel cream moisturizer yung ginagamit ko sa umaga. Yun yung mga ginagamit ko kapag gusto kong ito yung pang reapply ko. Wala naman akong piling na nakikita or na-experience. Now, when it comes to price, okay din to na option for a sunstick sa budget level na to. Regular price kasi niya is at 990 pesos. Pero kapag nagsisale, you can get this as low as 660 pesos. And that is for 18 grams of product. So, pwede na, very achievable naman yung price and definitely a solid choice for a sunstick, lalo na kung gusto mo mattifying talaga. Alright, so gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, these two are my top two picks, pero just in case maubusan kayo ng stock ng dalawang to, I do have two more alternatives na mas accessible, pero medyo mas mahal lang sila ng slide. So the first one is a very popular option. This one is from the brand Nature Republic. This is their fresh powdery sunstick. So as we know, maraming physical stores talaga si Nature Republic. Madali lang talaga tong hanapin. And marami pa silang stock right now bilang one of their best sellers talaga to. Now this one is an SPF 50+, plus PA4+, plus sunscreen with 5 UV filters. Meron siyang octocrylene, octinoxate, octisalate, juvenile A+, plus, and dinosorb S. Now for me, yung lagay nito sa skin is a bit similar sa Beauty of Jawson. Very lightweight and airy lang talaga yung feel niya sa skin. And true to its name na powdery, it does finish off soft matte. So magugustuhan din talaga to ng mga oily to combination skin types. Now price-wise, again, medyo mas mali siya sa mga Nature Republic stores at around 1,295 for 24 grams. In fairness, marami naman siyang product but also, if maabutan niya yung sales season si Nature Republic, in-offer nila to actually ng buy one, take one. So kapag bumili ka with a friend, ang hatian nyo is around mga 650 pesos each. Now, another really good option from a brand na marami ring physical store is actually this one by The Face Shop and it's their Power Long Lasting Sunscreen Stick. Now, this one guys, actually, nabudol ako ni Miss Bella, again, the owner of Saipo Skin na mahilig din mag skincare review on TikTok and also my friend. Budol niya to sa akin kasi nung trinay ko yung tester nito, super impressive din talaga yung feel niya on the skin. And yung power long lasting dito guys, totoo talaga siya based on my experience kasi sa listahan na to, this is the sunstick na pinaka nagsistay talaga sa skin ko while still being comfortable. Now when it comes to ingredients, same lang yung mga UV filters nito with yung sa Misha, pero dinagdagan lang nila to ng titanium dioxide. So I think dahil dun, this one, medyo nanonotice ko na may konting pore blurring effect siya na parang medyo tone up, pero wala siyang white cast by any means. Also for those who have sensitive skin, watch out lang because this has fragrance. Pero despite that guys, when it comes to product experience, sobrang lightweight lang din to. It's slightly creamier than yung sa Misha, pero hindi pa rin talaga siya heavy in general and this one finishes very natural on the skin. Pero ang favorite thing ko talaga about this is, in my opinion, siya talaga yung pinakamatagal bago mahulas. As in, para sa akin, ito yung sunstick na pang-apply ko currently if I'll be very active outdoors or magpapawis ako throughout the day. Kasi totoo talaga na long-lasting siya. Na price-wise, kung sa regular face shop kayo bibili, this is at 1,495 for 18 grams. Medyo mahal, pero if makachamba kayo ng reseller online, merong mga nagbebenta nito at around mga 700 to 800 plus. Based experience ko, medyo bihira lang siya, although I will try to find some resellers for you guys. Kapag meron ako mahanap, ililink ko sa description box. So as you can see guys, ang dami talagang choices in this budget level, pero kung hindi nyo afford as usual, walang problema as we move on to our next budget level. This is for those na medyo may budget. So the first sunstick in this list is actually one that I would recommend across all skin types kasi ang dami kong kakilala who really like this sunstick and iba-iba sila lahat ng skin type. Now this is from another favorite Korean brand of mine. It's from Isn't Tree and this is their Hyaluronic Acid Sunstick. Now this one is a top favorite of many sa skincare community as in internationally kasi it's really one of the most lightweight sunsticks out there if not the lightest. As in kung nakapag-try ka na ng sunstick before and ang experience mo was medyo greasy siya on your skin, pag trinay nyo to guys, it will really convince you na meron pa pala talagang okay na sunsticks na hindi sobrang greasy sa skin. Now this is an SPF 50 PA 4 plus chemical sunscreen that has a total of 5 UV filters. Meron siyang homosalate, octinoxate, octisalate,
phthalate, juvenile A+, and Tinosorb S. This one also does have niacinamide, and sa mga sensitive skin dyan, this is also fragrance-free. So really, really good ingredients-wise, ang issue ko lang is hindi ata siya water-resistant. Hindi ko lang sure, pero wala ako nakikita ang any label na water-resistant siya. Now, as for the feel of this on the skin, ito talaga yung pinakamasasabi kong almost weightless na siya. As in, sa sobrang lightweight niya, nung nilalagay ko to sa skin ko, parang sabi ko, meron bang nalalagay na product sa skin ko? Pero eventually, meron ka namang ma-feel na very light film lang, and this actually has a very soft matte finish. Now, this one is really one of the most comfortable sunscreens in this budget level, and in my opinion, this is the sunscreen to get kung afford mo to, especially since medyo sulit din talaga siya at around 700 pesos for 22 grams already. Minsan, kapag machambahan mo sa sale, you can get this at an even more affordable price at just 600 plus pesos. Now, if for any reason, mawalang kayo ng stock ng Isentree, another good option na sunstick, in my opinion, na very, very close sa Isentree, is a sunstick na ito yung first love ko talaga, as in, it's one of the first sunsticks na nagustuhan ko, and this one really convinced me na, okay, possible pala talaga na maging matte finish ang isang sunstick. This one is from the brand Tokobo or Tokobo, and this is their cotton soft sunstick. And again, very much like its name, accurate din talaga ang cotton soft because it really feels that way. And if you're oily to combination, again, super ma-appreciate mo to. Now, this one is a hybrid chemical and mineral sunscreen with a total of six UV filters. It's octocrylene, octinoxate, octisalate, juvenile A+, tinosorb S, and titanium dioxide. And interestingly, meron din tong mga soothing extracts like turmeric, Chinese skullcap, and bisabolol. This one does have fragrance though, but at the very end of the ingredients list naman, and also, it's not water resistant. Pero actually guys, yun lang yung pinakamasasabi kong con niya, which depending sa inahanap mo, might not even be a con. Kasi yung texture talaga nito guys, I would really say is also an A+. Kasi ito, when you spread this onto your skin, mafe-feel mo agad yung very lightweight na feel niya. The best words I could really describe it is soft and light. And speaking of soft, soft matte din yung finish niya on your skin. I also especially like how this plays really well with makeup. As in, natry ko na to sa beach pa mismo nung nagburakay ako last year. I had very tinted na sunscreen on. Ito yung pinang reapply ko and I can confirm na okay siya and hindi niya nausog-usog masyado yung tinted sunscreen ko. And if it doesn't get any better, yung value rin ito guys is really really good. Right now, as of the time na shoot ko to, you can get this for just 500 plus pesos. So baka dahil sale season ngayon, kaya ganyan siya kababa. Kasi nung chinek ko siya dati, I think mga nasa 700 to 800 pa siya. But nonetheless guys, another really good option, especially for those who want to comfortably apply their sun sticks. Alright, next up on our list is a local option that's great if you need a sun stick na waterproof, sweatproof, but also works great as a primer kung nagbi makeup ka. This is from none other than the Philippines' very own BLK, and this is their sunscreen primer stick in sheer. So very, very interesting to guys because in fairness kay BLK, sobrang nagsa-step up talaga sila sa skincare game nila, especially sa mga sun care products nila. And ang na-impress talaga ko dito is they really made it and formulated it to play well with makeup products. Now, the sunscreen is an SPF 50 PA4 Plus na chemical or organic na sunscreen with four UV filters. Now, ingredients wise, this doesn't smell like anything but it seems like it does have fragrance kasi merong nakalagay na flavor sa ingredients niya. But again, kung amoy lang yung concern ninyo, it doesn't smell like anything. And additionally, gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, this is also water resistant. Now, as for the feel of this sunscreen, true to its name, very similar talaga siya sa isang primer. As in, kung natry nyo na yung parang very silky smooth na parang silicone based na primers, ganun na ganun talaga siya. You do still feel it slightly sa skin mo, pero yung finish niya guys is very comfortable and it's natural but not glowy or dewy. And also, just to share a misconception, a lot of people think na medyo hindi sulit yung product na to because of its size. Kapag kinumpare mo kasi yung size nito to other sunstick products, mukhang mas maliit to. Pero as per the packaging, this is actually still 20 grams, which is really not bad. And given the price na 549 pesos siya, I would say pwede na. And this is a bit more accessible than the others since mas marami namang branches ang BLK sa mga malls. So I think that makes it all the more worth it. Pero kung wala ka pa rin budget for this or the other sunscreens na na-mention ko in this budget level, don't worry. If you've been wanting to try sunsticks pero hanggang 500 max lang talaga yung budget ninyo, we still have some good finds on our last budget level. This is for those na nagtitipid or my drugstore budget. And first up on this list is again one of the first sunstick brands na na-try ko na. Hindi ko man siya naging first love but it's a decent choice lalo na since mababa ang price niya. This sunscreen is from the brand AHC. It's their Natural Perfection Double Shield Sunstick. Hindi yung fresh na kamukha niya but the Double Shield Sunstick. And yes, based sa experience ko, medyo magkaiba sila and may bago kong na-discover na difference about these sunscreens. Now for this specific product guys, meron akong full review on my video about the best invisible sunscreens or clear sunscreens. You can check it out there if you want the full detailed version. And sa video na yun, I mentioned na may ginamit akong ganito dati na kamukha niya which 
was, I think, yung natural perfection, fresh sunstick. So, I think dahil magkamukha sila, pinalitan ni AHC yung packaging, ito na yung itsura niya ngayon. And guys, after comparing itong fresh and itong double shield, like I said, may similarities sila, pero medyo mas angat pa rin tong double shield for me. Na ito guys, trinay ko sila side by side sa face ko and medyo similar yung feel nila sa skin sa start. May konting moisture ka talagang feel, but si double shield feels slightly lighter and slightly mas hindi siya dewy and glowy compared dito sa fresh. Which is why mas ma-recommend ko talaga tong si double shield if you're maybe combination skin and want a moisturizing but natural finish. Pero if you want yung glowy talaga, then go for the fresh. But personally, para sa akin lang guys ha, I think more people will like itong double shield, even drier skin types, kasi mas hindi siya nag-glowy agad. Dahil slightly lighter din yung feeling niya sa skin. And of course, very much appreciated yon given our very hot climate. Also, given yung mga price nito, these are just 380 pesos for 14 grams. Pwede na, definitely not bad for what you're getting. But for this price range, guys, meron pa akong isang recommendation that I think magugustuhan ng mga nag-a-avoid talaga ng parang super shiny or super glowy finish from a sun stick. This one is from another Korean brand and it's the cheapest one in our list. It is the Cynic and Joy All Around Airy Sun Stick. Now, para sa budget level na to, guys, I really think this is the best option to get. And while, no, hindi siya perfect, I really think there's a lot to love still about this sunscreen. So this is an SPF 50+, plus, PA4+, plus chemical sunscreen with 5 UV filters, octocrylene, octinoxate, octisalate, uvenol A+, and tinosorb S. But aside from that, this also does have soothing ingredients like licorice root, green tea, Chinese skullcap, purslane, aloe, and ectowin. And also, it is water resistant. Meron siyang fragrance though, so do watch out kung sensitive ka. But in my experience, almost wala ako masyadong maamoy dito. Kala ko nga wala siyang fragrance eh. And speaking of product experience, this one glides onto the skin with a creamy feeling. Definitely may mafe-feel kang konting weight, pero appearance-wise, it sets very natural with no distracting shine on your skin. And although hindi siya super matte, hindi rin siya super nakaka-shiny or nakaka-glow ng skin, which makes it ideal for those na hindi gusto talaga yung parang glowy finish. In my opinion, I think this is really one of the most solid options for sunsticks under 500 dahil sa quality, performance, and the fact na 25 grams to. So almost same weight na sila nito ni Nature Republic. Actually, mas mabigat pa nga to. So mali ako. Ito pala yung pinakamabigat sa video na to. And nasa last budget level pa siya. So if you are just looking to test out the world of sunsticks pero hindi mo pa sure, ayaw mo pa masyadong gumastos, I do think this is a great sunstick to start with. Ito nga lang guys, hindi lang siya available sa mga physical stores unlike our other options. Pero, don't worry kasi hindi na kailangan hanapin siya online. As usual, nilagay ko na lahat ng mga shop links nito and all the other sunsticks that I've mentioned sa description box para hindi na kayo mahirapan. So, ayun na siya guys. Those are my top picks for the best sunsticks and I'm sure some of you guys meron na kayong mga natry na mga products dito. So, if you have, let me know your opinions and thoughts in the comment section. And if you did find this video informative, I hope you guys can like my video and subscribe for more skincare content like this. And also, if you need more videos about sunscreen, maglalagay ako ng mga videos dito. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!